strong. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Hi guys, how are you? I hope you're fine and always be fine My name is Hilalia Cesar Safira Sawa I am from class 7A My title of the storytelling is The Legend of Lake Toba The Lake Toba is so familiar, right? But do you know about the story? I'll tell you now, check it out The Legend of Lake Toba once upon a time in North Sumatra lived a young man named Toba. One day he go fishing in the lake. He waited a long time and suddenly he got big and fresh a golden fish. The Toba went home. At home Toba was very surprised because the fish all thought, Please don't eat me, said golden fish. Who are you? Who, who can you talk? said Toba surprised. I'm a golden fish, please don't eat me, said golden fish. Um, alright, said Toba. The next day, Toba went farmer in the field. Toba farmer from morning until noon. He was very hungry and tired, so he went home. At home, Toba was very surprised because there was a beautiful girl who was cooking. Who are you? Why are you in my house, said Toba surprised. I'm sorry, I am was a golden fish and now I am human form. I'm here to give you some food as a sign to, of my gratitude, said the beautiful girl. Time the past, Toba and the beautiful girl married and had a baby named Samosir. When Samosir is 7 years old, he was very lazy, stubborn, and mischievous. One day, Samosir, please don't dare. Please deliver this food to your father. Mother was busy, said mother. No, mom, I want to play, said Samosir snake. Hey, Samosir, what's wrong with you? He's your father. He was hungry, said mother angry. Because mother angry, Samosir was forced to deliver this food. On the way to the farm, Samosir ate father lunch little by little until the remaining few. When Toba opened the eat box, turned out it was empty. Toba was very angry to Samosir. What? Where the food? said Toba very angry. I'm sorry, I, I'm so angry, Dad. Samosir answered with hand city. Toba felt really upset with his sound and, and suddenly he said something rude that was forbidden. Your manner is like a little animal, it's because your mother is a fish, you, so, you, so you are like her. Go away from here. Toba didn't realize that what he said was so rude, he was forbidden to, the, to tell all about Samosir mother origin. Samosir said and tell all to his mother, come down Samosir, don't cry anymore. Now. All you have to do is to climb the highest tree and stay there. There will be a hot food and this village will be seen and disappear, said mother. Samosir went away and climbed the highest tree in the village. Mother was really sad. She decided to do suicide by jump to the lake. Suddenly, the sky was getting dark. Not so not so long after that, the rain fell down. It was a great rain. The thunder and lightning were so scary. Meanwhile, Toba was very surprised in this disaster. He cannot save himself. And some was here, although he claimed the hate history, he still cannot escape the great disaster. And then a small 
is lying in the middle of the lake called Samosir is lying and the village was submerged and become a large lake. The large lake is named Toba. Okay guys, so the moral of this story is keep promises that you have made before. Okay, I think it's enough. Thank you for your attention. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.